Round start. Fantastic! Unbelievable! Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to some more of This War of Mine, where right now I am in the process of crafting an axe, which we kind of desperately need. Not really, but, you know, it's good to have. Um, so about this game, if you guys didn't know, this game is an anti-war simulation game where you play as a civilians living in a war-torn country. Now, I think it's a way more interesting concept than the regular degular, oh, I'm the soldier, I'm going to shoot the other soldiers, and I'm going to defend this soldier from another soldier type of deal, right? Because as realistic and as great as that is, and games like that are, um, it's just kind of played out. Like, just name any shooter, and that's basically the moral of the story in, in the shooters. You know, you're the soldier, you got to shoot the other soldier. That's what it is. Um, but this, you are the civilians and you have to scavenge and survive somehow so let me check here i believe we made a bunch of that damn remote i believe we made yes we have a lot of cigarettes we got coffee from the lady i had to start the recording right off from um from uh when the lady gave us coffee because i didn't it, it, it wouldn't save it saves every new day or new night so it wouldn't have saved everything that we've done in between um, but yeah, so I decided to get the axe. So now we have coffee. We got meds, which is great. We have cigarettes for trading. Oh, we can make some more cigarettes. We can still do that. Oh, no, we can't because we don't have materials. I didn't pick up any materials. That was the issue. Well, we're definitely going to go back to... We're definitely going to go back to... Um, we can use it to chop furniture or people. God, that's so scary. Hmm... I forgot what I was saying. Anyways, our shelter feels almost like home, giving us relief and helping us regain composure. Ah, all right. I do need more materials. Everyone is fed. Marco needs to sleep. But to be honest, yeah, to be honest, I think I'm just going to use Marco and just go to the supermarket. So look, now we unlock the city hospital and the airport because we, we have ventured to someplace new. And the port. The port is there as well. well that's cool. Um, right. I really want Mark to scavenge. Pavel can guard. You you both can guard. Just whatever. Let's go to the supermarket. There was like a closet that I could unlock. Ah, I didn't make a lock pick. Oh shit. Fuck. Well, here I'll take the axe. Oh, I forgot to take the axe. I was gonna take the axe and show you guys like what I can do with it. Like I could. Like, make, like, wood and stuff. Alright. Maybe... Are those guys with guns still here again? Hello, guys with guns. Are you here? They were kind of friendly, but also they weren't that friendly. So, okay. If I could... If my remote can just wake the fuck up. Hello. Ah, it doesn't look like anyone's here. Alright, we're good. If I remember, there was some stuff down here that I left... Let's break through all this. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm a strong man. I'm a big boy. Take those. Ugh, my remote. I gotta get me a new remote. I gotta do it. I wanna play Monster Hunter Rise as well, and I don't think I don't think I could do it with this remote. I love playing the game in remote, by the way. With a remote control. Uh, what we got here? I didn't leave much. Hmm. I'd actually clean this place out. I should have brought a lot pick. Wake up! You bitch ass remote. I literally hit it on my desk. And now it's not working. It just has problems connecting with the fucking wireless USB that's in the computer. Like, sometimes it just loses connection. I know the controls for this. Connect, you fools. Thank you. Peace. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. What is happening? 
Oh, I switched to combat mode. Right, so that's something that I haven't shown you guys yet. Is that there is a combat mode. We do have to fight some people eventually. At some point, some some extent. I don't want to. I never really do that. I prefer avoiding that because it's just not worth the, the risk, the resources and stuff. But also, it, it could be cool. I mean, it sounds terrible that killing people would be cool. But, like, I don't know. We might have to do it. Like, for example, with those apartment buildings, that's, like, dangerous. If we desperately need something, we might have to shoot someone in the head. Oh, man, there was not a lot left here. In here. Damn, I took I took all the good stuff. There's just this thing that's unlocked down there. Ah, uh, I just didn't make a lockpick. If I had the axe, I could be getting so much wood right now, though. Whoa, I heard gunfire. Anything here? Yep, something here. You. Oh, we got shell casings and stuff. I guess I could, like, make a bullet. Eventually. All right. Well, we didn't we didn't get a lot of stuff, especially materials or it's components. Sorry, it's called components. That's upsetting. I am gonna go back there and unlock the uh, thing, though. Maybe I should go to the port. Right, hey, what's up, guys? What a night. Alright, anything new on the radio? Due to the recent shortages, the prices of cigarettes and tobacco have become exceedingly high. Many people need cigarettes to calm down. How can they calm down knowing that they must pay for them? Ah, look at that. Now we can tr definitely be trading some cigarettes. That's good. The rebel and government forces are engaged in violent skirmishes throughout the city. Some areas have been completely cut off, while other others witness heavy fighting. Oh shit! Yeah, that's what I see. There's some places that I just can't. Um, some places that I can't like scavenge. Play some classical music for them. I feel like that would calm them down. If I play some of that. It's cool outside with clouds and possibly rainfall. Our advice for cold evenings is grab a good book and a hot cup of tea. Relax yourself. Dude, who the fuck can do that at, in a time like this right now? I play some classical music. Yeah, let's play some that rock I heard. Oh, yeah. Sounds good. So this should help calm them down. Right, so I do have the axe, though. I could chop some stuff here. Like this table. Do I need this table? No, they don't even use this table. Okay, I will chop this table. Chop that table. Get some wood out of it. Um. Oh, the meat's done. We're gonna go get this meat. Set the trap again. You get this wood. Don't chop the chair. You need that chair. Oh, that's right. It gives us fuel, too. Awesome. We're not gonna have to buy fuel for a while. Um, yeah, so we need to make these cigarettes, definitely. That meat in there. You can chop this up. Get some wood out of it. Okay. And we have no materials. I keep calling it materials, it's components. We have no components to make these cigarettes, so... Yeah, I guess you guys can just go to sleep. Oh, that's the, that's the worrisome part, is that I might have to... I might chop my bed by mistake. I hope I don't do that. Chop this. Okay, you search this. You... Okay. Maybe can you go up top and see what you can chop up? Like this cabinet up there. Yeah, chop this cabinet. Chop, chop. 
you'd gladly eat something. You're not hung you're not really that hungry though. But you go to sleep. Sleep. You. Oh, he looks sad. What the fuck? Pavel, search this. Thank you. And why are you going down? What the hell? Bruno, you lazy fuck. Is this French? Sounds French. Anything here I could chop up? Okay, nice. So now we have a lot of wood and a lot of fuel. It's good for us. You're hungry? Yeah, I bet you are. You always got something to complain about, don't you, Bruno? Oh, there's that. I could chop down there. I see it. That cabinet down there. Come here, boy! Give you a good chopping! There we go. Right. So now... Ooh, my axe is damaged, but that's okay. 44 wood. Oh, it's so good. The axe is good. And 27 fuel. So good. I'll just let everyone sleep, I guess. We don't have any materials. We can't do any... F eh. Can I make alcohol? Make alcohol while asleep. Let's see. No, because I don't have water. And I can't make water. Because I don't have materials. You'd gladly eat something? Yeah, yeah. Um, doesn't look like anyone's coming to trade. So let's end the day. Uh, I gotta go to the supermarket. I could go to the port. It says huge amounts of weapons there. I feel like I should take that. Oh, but I don't have the... Right, I didn't make a lockpick. Damn it, I forgot again. Um... Okay, let's explore the port. Caution advised. Gotcha, gotcha. You can guard. You both can guard, it's fine. Actually, you know what? You need to get rid of that sickness, buddy. You scavenge. Alright, let's go check out this new place. Hopefully it's got some materials for us. Oh, wait, this place. What a pity that all the boats either sailed or sank. This place, I remember this place. I Never mind, I know how this place works. This is where you could meet, like, a smuggler who could smuggle you out. Um, but, the thing is, if you meet him, then you steal his stuff, I think. But if you don't meet him, then his stuff is free for grabs. Okay, take that. We just have to be quiet well, because he can't know that we're here. Take this. Okay. Oh, I need a lockpick. Anything up here? This should be good stuff. Yes, nice. Right, so that would have counted as stealing if I met the guy beforehand. Let me just grab some of these. Um. Okay, let me run on back. This is why I left this here, because then I can use this as like a stockpile. Because I could actually transfer things over. Like so. Okay, so now that's my secret stash. 
strategy, you got a strategy, you got to implement some strategy here and there, you know? Like this. Now let's go down. Check this out. Ooh, if I had my saw blade. Open this. Rummage around. See, that's the smuggler guy. Quiet here. He doesn't see us. Okay. Nice. He doesn't see us. He's got a TV! Hey, what a lucky guy! Dude's got a TV! What the fuck? I want a TV in my place. All I got is a shitty radio. Yeah, yeah. I want a TV. I want a TV in my house. Marco and Bruno want a TV. Pavel wants a TV. What's in here? Cake. Okay. Can I continue onwards this way? Oh, I can. Oh my god, there's a fucking dead guy hanging from the rafters right there. <laughs> Do you guys see that? Holy shit. Wow. Uh, nice ass. Very nice ass. Very nice. Oh boy. Now we do this. Uh. Okay, I gotta come back for that. Gotta make sure this guy doesn't see me. Because otherwise, it counts as me stealing his things, I think. Okay, I think I could run here. Alright, we're good. Dude, look at all of our stuff! Yeah! Love it. So, I'm definitely grabbing the materials, whatever material. Uh, components, damn it. Stop calling them materials. Components. Uh huh. God, that dead guy up there is just not good. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. You know what? I decided he is sleeping. He's not dead. He's just sleeping. Taking a little slip of slip. Okay, so now I think I could see him. Did he hear me? Did he hear me? I don't think he heard me. Okay. Let me let me just go say hello to him. Hello. Wait. Remote! Come on, man. Hello. Hey, how's it going? What's up? Oh. Hoi, friend. I'm... Harold. Oh, I just took his fucking chair. Would you like to get away from this place? Sounds good to me. I can get you and your family to safety. Trust me. In this little thing? I did it many times. Plenty of people want out. Okay. Want to take a look at my boat? Yeah, I see it. It's right there. Please don't push me over and put me in a sex trading chain. Here it is. Big enough, don't you think? Yeah. I've heard of you from the trader. I'll swing by in a while. Think about my offer. Huh. Cool. Okay. Yeah, so that's the smuggler. He, like, smuggles us out. Sun's rising, I gotta move. Yep, we gotta move, we gotta move. Gotta move, remote! Wake up! Okay, let me just grab the stuff that I want. Oh, we definitely want these. And, um... We didn't get any materials again. Oh, wow. Okay, we'll take these. The weapons parts. 
Um, I can't believe we didn't get any materials again. That's crazy. But the components, components, cat, components. Look at those. We don't need the wood as of yet. All right, let's get out of here. Should get back. Yes, please go back. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome. We got so much. It's good for us. And voila. We've been raided. Uh, did anyone get hurt? No, I was wounded. Okay, we can defend ourselves. Good stuff. Still don't have any materials. It's not good. Not good. Now we can't eat. Bio. People are desperate to get out of Porgon. I wonder, though, if the smuggler can be trusted. Same as well. I have a dearest friend who always worried a lot. One day she called me terrified, saying there was a riot outside. The secessionists were inciting the crowd to burn the town hall. I told her not to worry. And I was right. Nothing came of it this time. But even when the riots and fights came every day... Fights became everyday news. I kept assuring her it would all blow over soon. Okay. What does Mark have to say? I, got, I gotta feed them cans. Because they're hungry. Can this Carol guy have all met at the port really smuggle us out? Or will he betray us? Hmm. Hmm. Very justified deductions, my good man. Uh, right. You guys need to eat these canned foods. Damn it. Eat this. Thank you. You get up here too and eat that. Anyone gonna come today? The trader, hopefully. At least it's warm. That is true. Phone's at the door. Nice. Who is it? Is it the trader? So what's it gonna be? Nice, it is the trader. Excellent. Okay, you already know I'm buying all of this. Give me this shit. I needs it. And the water. I need that too. Alright. Um, so I got some cigarettes for ya. We'll do try harder. Okay, how about that? Fine, we have a deal. Um, okay. And now, you go and make the cigarettes. So, oh well, uh, yeah, make this. Um, you go take over for Pavel, because Pavel needs to sleep. Actually, Pavel needs to make a lockpick. I need a lockpick and a saw blade. Let's go make those real quick. I need two lockpicks. And then a saw blade, right? Now you keep making these cigarettes. All of them. Make them all. Go. And you actually need to make some water for us. So we need two of these. Oh, I could make another rat trap. That'll be good for us. Let's 
saw blade. Yes. Ugh. I'm glad the trader's at the store. Okay, Pavel finished first. Pavel, go make some water. And you, go make some water. We go time manage, time manage. We don't have all the time in the world. So just make water, guys. And Pavel can go back up and trade. Boom, there we go. Oh, wait, actually, I need to make the meat thing. But let's go and trade first. So we have an axe now to defend ourselves, so I think I'm willing to trade the knife. And we have four alcohols. I forgot we had those. Okay, what are you willing to match for this? I don't need your fuel or your books. I'll take these. And we'll take these to make more cigarettes. Uh, you need more than that. Okay. What if I throw... Uh, it doesn't sound like good profit. Some coffee. What if I throw in some coffee? Okay, no. The coffee didn't do it. Teddy bears? Forgot I had these. Nice. That's a deal. Um... Like, we're, we're pretty good on meds right now. I could trade... Uh... Hmm. Okay, I'll buy the meat. Trade him some meds. Three meds. We don't need that many meds. And then the books, the fuel. Oops. I'll buy my knife back. Ha. <laughs> oh, you could keep that. The wood. Oh, it's still too impressive. Okay, cheapen the pot a little bit. Fine, we have a deal. Okay. I'm going to trade one more with you. If I can get some more wood out of this. Oh, I could. Okay. Ah. I can still get some more trade here. Bullets, maybe? Hmm. Bullets. Alright. Two bullets. That's a good trade. I'll say, I'll say that's a good trade. Alright, thank you, sir. Can I make a... Oh, I can't make another rat trap. I need more materials. Ah! I need so many more materials. Damn it. Alright, well, um... All of you guys just go to sleep, I guess. We're good on meds, good on bandages. I can't believe this guy's still slightly sick. Two weeks and he's still sick. My goodness. You got a weak immune system, buddy. All this guy has left to trade are cigarettes, basically. That's all I remember he has left. Okay, we got some good stuff. Let's see what we got. I gave away the knife because we already have an axe, and they're going to use the axe to defend themselves. That counts as, like, a weapon, I think. 
Oh, we're good. We're so good on wood. Okay, we just need... Need water and food. Hmm. Alright, we'll let Bruno keep making this stuff. And when the water's done, hopefully we can make some more alcohol. Yeah, look at that. Look at the cigarettes go up. Well, Bruno needs to sleep, though. Who doesn't need to sleep? Marco doesn't need to sleep. Well, he kind of does as he's recovering. And are you done? I'll keep I'll keep making Bruno uh, craft some stuff. These, for example, can be made into roll-ups. The thing in the herbs is like weed. It's like le legit marijuana. The game just can't say marijuana, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking, though. <sighs> Everyone sleeping still tired. Okay. At least they're not hungry. Alright. I'm not armed, I just want to trade. Yeah, I know. I know, dude, I know. Don't worry about it. I think making the roll-ups would be better for us. Dun, dun, dun. After this, I have to get on a video call. Come on, Bruno, keep making it. Ah, we should probably just end the day. Here we go. Night. So, I know Bruno's tired. Pavel is not tired. Um, sleep in bed. Scavenge. You guys can all just sleep in bed, I guess. Maybe Marco can guard. No, Marco can scavenge. You can guard. Yeah, I can go to the port. Or I can go to the supermarket. There's a railway station. Ooh, that's new. Well, let's go to the port. I did leave some things there. That I can gather. And, oh, I did... Dude, did I forget the lockpick again? I forgot the lockpick and the saw blade, didn't I? Why am I such an idiot, guys? Alright, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, fine. We'll just take all of this stuff. And now we leave. I forgot to equip the things. Ugh. I'm such an idiot. Well, we'll go back there later. Day 16. I don't know how many days there are to this. This story, I know my last save was uh, at day 36. Did we get robbed? No, we didn't. Okay. Good. We still don't have any materials, so that is not good. You're tired. You go to sleep. You are not tired, so you go and craft those things. Oh, come on. Move. Damn it, move. Yeah, 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 you're hungry. Whatever. Let's look in here. Music is still playing. Tune it. See if there's any news. 
Still the same news. All right. You guys go to sleep. Oh, wait. Can I make alcohol real quick before I sleep? Yes, I can. I can make a lot of alcohol. Look at that. Look at that. Three. All right, I'll take it. Make it. We're going to need that to trade. I should make like the advanced alcohol distiller. That would be good. But uh, not going to happen. They don't have the parts. Oh, he's coughing. Oh, no. He might be worse than I thought. Let's give him some meds so I don't have to keep worrying about it. You know what? Yeah, I, I got I got meds to spare. I'll give him some meds. I'm the herbal one. Uh, no, not that one. This one. There you go. Slightly sick and on meds. Good stuff. I'll just rest, dude. The last thing I want is for this guy to be, like, his sickness to carry on into the winter phase. That would suck. Okay, so you're not tired, so you're doing everything. At least we've got some cigarettes. Yeah, we do. He's not depressed now because he's a goddamn chain smoker. Um, you know what? I actually think, guys, that I'm going to have to cut this episode short. Because I have a doctor's appointment. So, I want to thank you all for watching. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And don't forget to check the link down in the description. Bye-bye.